Hello, today I would like to show you how to measure the volume of the stockpiles directly in blk to fly Live app. Quickly, efficiently and most important thing, precisely. Let's see how to do it. We are taking you with us to one of our testing locations somewhere in Switzerland. We have few nice stockpile examples here. Let's choose one of them and measure the volume. We will kindly request the machinery to stop excavation works for a few moments, so the flight can be done safely. Let's begin by taking the BLK to fly out of its transport box and powering it on. The booting process will take just a few moments. Once the BLK to fly is fully booted and connected to the iPad, we can start the planning. Tap the plus button at the top right corner of the flight screen. This will bring us to the Autonomous Mission Planner. Enter a name of our scan, then select Exploratory Scanning and press Continue. Since the online map overlay is quite outdated in this location, we will have to use BLK to fly centric exploratory scanning mode. Standard scan quality is sufficient for this task. In BLK to fly centric exploratory scanning mode, We'll define the area we want to scan relative to the current position and orientation of BLK to fly. The scanner is positioned just in front of the stockpile, facing it. We don't need to scan anything below us, so we'll set the lower value of exploration volume to zero. The height of the volume can be set a little bit higher than the actual height of the stockpile, so we will set it to 12 meters in this case. We don't know the exact size of the stockpile, so we will estimate the exploration area accordingly. A slight overestimate won't hurt. The mission is set and we are prepared and ready for takeoff. Unlock the takeoff button and press it for 3 seconds. The BLK to fly will lift off. Once the system is fully initialized, all we need to do is to tap on play button. The magic begins. BLK to fly will fly through the defined area, scanning the stockpile step by step. Now we can sit back, relax and observe the flight. Just remember to keep the visual line of sight with the BLK to flight at all times and have your hands on the controls. By the way, for scanning such environments like this, RTK corrected positioning is required. BLK to fly will choose the most optimal path through exploration cubes to scan everything we need. Mission is complete. Let's double check the stockpile is fully scanned and there are no gaps in the data. That's important. Let's trigger return to launch and watch the BLK to fly heading back to its original takeoff location and land there. Now let's calculate the volume. In the project browser, select the scan we just completed and load it. One more time we will check the data quality for any missing data or double surfaces, as it can affect the final measurement results. Now tap on the Volume Measurement Tool button and follow the instructions. First select the ground plane, then outline the contour of the stockpile We can adjust the base plane height to best fit the actual stockpile. And confirm the selection. Done! The volume is calculated and is 833 cubic meters. Now we'll export a PDF report, which can be emailed or uploaded to desired location.
We will also upload the scanned data to Reality Cloud Studio. The data is on its way. Measurements are done. Excavation works may now be resumed. And we will head back to the office. Even before I will reach my destination, my colleague will be able to access the process data in Reality Cloud Studio and perform more advanced calculations in Leica Cyclone 3DR.